Hello everyone! In this video I will explain you how to install and use a simple latex or tex compiler. That is, I will explain you how to install and use tex studio. Furthermore, I will share with you a template that I created that can help you to quickly start with latex. So here is the template I created. This template contains simple explanations on how to compile equations, a little bit more complex equations, matrices, tables, and how to include graphs. Before I start, I would like to mention that it took me a significant amount of time and energy to create this video, and consequently I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's start with the installation of the Latex Editor. First of all, open your browser and go to Google. Before we install Tech Studio, it's very important to install another program. The name of that program is Mike Tex. So type Mike Tex, click over here, click on Download, and click on Installer and again click on download. Here we will save the file in the default download folder. It will take a while to download the file. And after download is completed, we click on Show in Folder, we double click on the file, we accept the terms and conditions, we keep this default option, we, uh, we choose the default location of the folder for the installation, we click on Next, preferred paper will be A4, and over here we will change this option and we click on yes. This means that we will let Mike Tags to automatically install the missing packages. And we click on next and we click start. And here is the progress. Depending on how fast is your computer, this process might take a minute or even 10 minutes. In my case, I have a relatively new computer and this whole process is relatively quick. After the process is completed, you click on Next. You can basically choose this option, click on Next, and we don't want to tell us that Mike Text tell us more about the software and we click on Close. Okay, so the next step is to verify this installation. And the best way to verify this installation is to download a latex template and to see if we can compile this latex template. So I will go to this link over here and I will provide this link in the description below this video so you can use this link. This is a basically a template that I created, a very simple template for testing latex compilers. So we can click over here and we can click on download zip file. We will save it in a download folder. Let's open this folder. We do a double click to open archive. Then we do control C and let us open and create a new folder somewhere over here or just copy and paste our template. So let us double click over here to see the template and here is the template. The next step is to verify that Mike Tex is able to successfully compile this source file. So this is the source file over here and as you can see Windows is automatically a capable of recognizing this extension since you can see this icon over here it has the symbol T. That means that Windows is able to link this file with Mike Tex. So let us open this file. We do the right click and we click on open. 
And this is our Mike Dex editor. Here is the source file and here is the output. Let us try to compile this file. In order to compile the file, we need to select the proper option over here. So we'll, we will select this option PDF Latex plus Make Index plus Vivdex. And we click on this button over here or on this green arrow. And let's do it again and observe here the output. You can also later on access the log of the compilation. So everything seems fine. There are no errors. However, in order to verify that we are able to compile this file, go back to the original folder and look at the timestamp over here. So the timestamp is 457. This means that we are able to generate the PDF file. That is, we are able to compile the source file over here. So do a double click in order to open the file. So this is the output. Good. So we were able to successfully install MikeTax. Of course, you can use MikeTax instead of Tax Studio. However, my experience shows that MikeTax has limited capabilities. And this is just a simple editor that doesn't have advanced options. Consequently, let us try to install Tax Studio. To install Text Studio, let us go back to our browser and let us go back to Google. And let us type Text Studio. Here is the Text Studio and we click on the link. And we click over here Download Now. We will save it in the Downloads folder by clicking Save. Then we do a right click over here, show in folder, and here's the Tech Studio installation file. We do we double click, we click on yes. And then we just select the default options. We click on install, and after a few seconds, the installation will be complete, and we click on close. Okay, so let us open Tech Studio by just clicking on the Start menu and typing Text Studio. And here is our Text Studio. Let us open our template file. We click on File, Open, and let us find it. In my case, it's on the C drive, Codes, Template. Here's the template file, we click on open. Okay, so here's our template file. So let us try to compile this file. You have several options to compile the file. You can, for example, do build and view or you can press compile. Let's first build and view. Okay, so here's our output file. We are able to compile. In order to make this video as short as possible, I will not explain you all options of Text Studio. Instead, I will explain you how to change this template file, how to add an equation containing, for example, a matrix, and how to see the result. Let us say that we want to change a part of the document over here. Let us say we want to change this part over here. We want to add an additional equation before this equation number 9. So what do we need to do? We need to put our cursor over here. We do the right click and we go to the source. And you can see over here the source corresponding to this part over here. This is the sums, text, and here's our equation. Let us add now, after this equation, an additional equation. I will type, here is an additional equation. Here I will use an align environment. This is a simple environment for adding equations. You can also use 
equations environment. However, I like the align environment since we can simply align equations to be on the left side, on the right side. So this align environment gives you a lot of functionality. And let us add our equation. Let us type bold x. If you want to obtain a bold, for example, font in an equation, you will type mat bold font. And here I will open a matrix environment since I want my x to be a matrix. The matrix environment is B matrix, so I type begin B matrix and B matrix, and over here I will add entries. This will be X1, then new row corresponds to this symbol. Again, new row, and over here I have X3. So let us compile and see the result. We click over here. And here's our vector, or our equation. And finally, you can compile the file by pressing the Compile button over here. And let us go back to our source file to see the results. And let us look at the timestamp. The timestamp basically is 5.12 p.m. and that's basically 5.12 p.m. So here's our template file and here's our new vector, our equation. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I create, please subscribe and support my channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day.